Greetings, goons, gangsters, and gamers. It's your boy, The Goods Tonight, and we're back with another episode for, I guess, what is unofficially, uh, F Pistol Belt Week. Tactical Gunfighter Belt Week. Whatever cool tactical belt week we want to call it, because we've recently reviewed the Shaw Concepts freaking, um, padded little leg holster mount adapter going on here. We reviewed the, uh, little dump pouch I got going on here from Flatline Fiberco. So let's review something I've had before, well really both of these, and something I've been running around with a bit for a while, and it is the uh, ever so wonderful Blue Force Gear, a little Marco uh, chem light dispenser. So a few things to keep in mind, uh, we'll begin on touching all those, but ultimately what the micro chem light dispenser is, is a cool, and let's be honest, everyone loves chem lights, it's a cool little chem light case, like so. You, it holds 30 chem lights. And uh, given California rules, since it is technically magazine shaped, that's uh, 20 too many for uh, California to be happy. So it's probably illegal in California. Never really tried, but um, I'd wager uh, they're going to see more than 10 and just immediately take you to jail for 20 years to life. So, <laughs> so it holds these chem lights, and um, yeah, they're a little six millimeter, uh, yeah, six millimeter on the sides, so you can do some uh, crazy stuff with those if you are so into BB Wars. But with that said, it holds up to 30, and um, yeah, there's a few mounting options. The most common is a sort of like little um, ITX Nexus buckle little setup, and you get a little one that mounts down here. This is also a um, two inch belt setup. It's got Velcro on the side, you just strap that on in there, and click that guy in like so. The other popular option on the market is the little Crydex mount which you can adjust to your two inches or whatever belt and this one's gonna sit more so directly on your belt and um, it does have a lot of flex I noticed but uh, nothing like too crazy mount that onto your belt and uh, you take your little chem lights and you just, you just clicks in nice and easy like so nice and easy there effortlessly <laughs> And um, the Crydex is kind of like split down the center, so you can sort of wiggle it out unintentionally, but when you're using the chem light, I got like two on me now, so I'm like really high, I'm like really high speed, we're ready to bring in akimbo chem lights here. All you gotta do is you need to grab the case. That's the key thing I learned. You grab the case, push it out, give it a little click, and shabam, chem light. Let me kill the lights here real quick. Shake that guy up, shboom, yeah. The man with the radioactive glow. So, you pop that open, and whatever your freaking operations dictate, you drop it by a door to a cleared room, or um, you use it to mark a trail to keep people away from a uh, concertina wire. Pretty much anything and everything you would use chem lights for, you can use these guys. Now, the Marco chem lights are, uh, well, really high speed, cool guy things, so. They come in these cool little bags. They say do not open until you need them. As you can see, they're holding the cases there. Now, as I was mentioning, if you just try to free, free, uh, do it without holding down the case, you usually pop the thing out of the Crydex and cause problems. Now, the reason being is, um, ah! So, yeah, the Crydex, as you can see, it's splint down the center so you can get access to put everything in there and whatnot. So, it has a little bit of uh, freedom to move on the front end. So, you know, lots of, uh, well, it's, I mean, it's Crydex. You gotta have some freedom to bend around and squish and whatnot. So when you're gonna get a chem light, you need to firmly grasp your chem light case. Let's put these guys back in here. Show, bam, come on. There, easy peasy. When those guys are in there, firmly grasp case, push, lift finger, click, and that's how you get your chem light ready to go. So, yeah, so. Needless to say, the um, Marco uh, re refill kits tend to be uh, <laughs> a little pricey. And uh, here's the red ones that came with mine. And um, I kept all the red ones separate because I have a ton of green ones. And you might be going like, well, good sir, Knight, how did you get a ton of green ones if they're expensive? And a cool trick my buddy, uh, one of my buddies found, is that Defense Mechanisms makes a big bag of 100, whereas these generally come in sets of 30s, you can get a big bag of 100 for 20 bucks. So if you're like me, and you're going to just be relentlessly clicking these and throwing them for anything and everything because it's basically an endless rave going on up in my mind, 
than being able to have <laughs> less expensive ones to kind of like just goof around with is never a bad idea. Get it all out of your system and then if you have to do the real cool guy stuff then that's when you're actually going to want to use the fancy expensive never gonna fail stuff. And of course you got the original Chemlite Breacher bundle from way back in the day and as you can see We've got a uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine here. That takes some prep time. Or you got, well, now 29 really small ones that you don't want to put out too much glow. So these are all taped up. So you got like 29 here. They're significantly easier to dick around with than these ones that take all this prep time and fancy cables. Then you have a nice little HK hook to hold it secure to your belt and they wobble around. They got a bit of weight to them these way practically nothing so the Marcos are pretty cool now as far as mounting options I for one thought I was going to hate this little dangly you got going on here but it turns out it's relatively inconsequential they weigh practically nothing so while they are gonna flop around a little bit all you ever need to do even if they get twisted up is grab hold get a nice secure grip and you can click out another one Easy peasy. I like to keep them on the left side because that way you can keep your right hand free for any, uh, well, you know. If you have a thing called a trigger finger, it needs to activate a trigger on a certain thing. So, with that in mind, if you're clearing rooms, you go, okay, yeah, yeah, everything's good here. Go ahead, click, drop, and you can still keep your handgun ready to engage in case uh, you get surprised. So, um, with that in mind, you would think this would be a short video with how little there is to talk about, but the Crydex holster. A cool thing I like about it is they've drilled about a bazillion holes in here. Now this isn't to make it faster or more high speed or to um, help cool down the chem lights on a hot summer day. No, it allows you to mount it on all manner of things. So if you have the, let me see if I can get free here, any of these Canadian made freaking um, holster accessory mounts on the front of your safari land you can match it up and get it to hold now there <laughs> I got this to test out the theory and it works you can mount this onto here it looks fairly ridiculous but it gives you a way to keep your chem lights nice and secure directly to your holster but now you've got the problem here they gotta reach over and get that tight firm grip otherwise you're gonna just pull out the dispenser or you gotta use your right hand uh, neither of which are fantastic options so that ended up not working but it's been done however if you got yourself a blade tech the nice little blade tech holes going on then you can also just sort of mount this onto a blade tech and mount that to your belt you know in case you just don't like the belt clip maybe the word clip makes you really upset which it is in belt clip and uh belt clip versus the uh chem light magazine so <laughs> Things to consider. It does have the cool little Blue Force logo, logo friggin' uh, crosshair thing going on there, which is pretty neat. So, you can mount this to all sorts of things and get creative, have fun. Um, and yeah, with the. This is just your sort of like standard one inch buckle, so if you had something crazy going on, like something mounted to your. If you don't want to use your three mag placard, maybe it's more important to have two separate chem light bundles instead of spare mags that's something you can do anything that uses a one inch buckle can work you can clip this into anything and it is their nice little fancy elastic material so it's going to hold up for a really long time and weigh nothing they slide in really nice and easy but they don't fall out weebles wobble but they don't fall down same concept so easy peasy lemon squeezy so cool gear really simple um, you can get the cheap refills to mess around all you want on your free time you can have the fancy stuff if you really want to get to it they um, glow relatively close to the same and they do make a big deal about the reason these bags are nice and aluminumized or whatever material they use is to help protect the chem light just like the uh, casings for the normal standard chem lights that you have to take out to get bundled and I guess keep them out of the light for some time but yeah um, this is kind of like a double review isn't it because now we're also talking about defense mechanisms because these chem lights are really cool I try to keep a handful of these on me just in case I'm like walking around late at night and I can just click them and 
You can throw them in the water and like fish will eat them, that's pretty crazy. Or you can use them to just like mark little areas outside and keep track of things. But the defense mechanisms, to the best of my knowledge, currently only comes in green, whereas the Marco has red, green, blue, and infrared for those cool night vision guys. And they do glow pretty well. I tested them under my cheap Gen 1 nods, and uh, yeah, they, they glow. You will not miss them. <laughs> So, that is all I have for you guys today. That is my shining review. Let me make a uh, funny little thumbnail there. Does that look good? Yeah, that looks good. Pew! Glow in the dark. And um, yeah, so if you are a fellow Chemlight enthusiast, feel free to like the video and uh, subscribe below. If you hate Chemlights, then um, maybe you are afraid of electricity and uh, other Ludite jokes that I would make if I had more time. I've got a head cold right now, so <laughs> I want to do I want to do a few more videos for the end of the day. So that's all I got for you guys. These are cool. Like I said, they are six millimeters. So if you want to be redonkulous and uh, oh, where is it? Wait. I gotta prove a point. I gotta prove a point. Uh, let's take a funky Mateba revolver, and you can load that in there. Bleep. Yeah, it fits. Like I said, six millimeters. So. You load that up, and you'll actually launch a chem light with some force. Now they make uh, tracer BBs, so you don't have to do that, but if you're like me, you're inevitably going to launch a chem light at someone, so, you know, like I said, get it out of your system now. So that's all I got for you guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I think these have been, like, relatively well known for the longest time forever, so it's not like it's a new crazy development, but... They work. They work great, and um, they take up no space on your kit. They weigh nothing. So, tactical fun chem lights. Have at it, gents. Um, cheers. Stay chivalrous, and I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace out.